Now the police has arrested and subsequently granted bail to 15 persons with disability who are former toll workers for gathering at the Ministry of Roads and Highways over their unpaid salaries. The ex-toll workers were arrested after they spent a night at the Ministry, explained that they were unable to meet with the sector minister to address their concerns, hence their action. There is more in this report filed by City News' and Shelley Zimu. Several former toll workers, all persons with disabilities, spent Tuesday night at the Ministry of Roads and Highways in a bid to engage the sector minister regarding unresolved issues, including unpaid salaries and job reassignment. This protest follows the government's 2022 decision to ban road toll collection, leaving these workers unemployed despite assurances of reassignment. Struggling to make ends meet for the past two years, they resorted to sleeping at the roads ministry, alleging the government's lack of commitment to restoring their jobs. On the second day of their protest, police arrested 15 of them, who were later released on bail. We came as executives to come and meet the minister. That was yesterday, because it's something that we've been doing since the closure of the tour, to, del to deliberate on the payment of our salaries and then reassignment of the job. So we've been having interaction or dialogues with the ministry for quite some time now. We've been there more than eight times. Yesterday we went there in the morning. When we went there, he wasn't around. So we made our mind that we will stay and wait for him. We were told he's gone to meet him. We were there till evening and he couldn't come. So we decided not to go home, we will sleep because we don't have enough money to go back. We were there at 10 a.m. this morning, uh, trying to go inside because of the scorching sun. We went, we were trying to go, and one of our colleagues who is using a wheelchair, she was entering and they pushed the gate to hit her, not knowing a security lady came there and ordered them not to allow us to enter. But we, we don't know. So when the action began, and we also forced ourselves to open the door and entered. Barely 15 minutes, we were at the uh, car park of Minister the minister. Car park. car park of the minister. When we saw three cars of police saying we've been, uh, they, they've, lodged, they've lodged a complaint that we are fighting with our stakes at the Rose and Highway Ministry. Later on when we came, they collected all our phones from us, saying we are going to write our statement. Meanwhile, we don't know any statement that we're going to write because we are there to meet the minister and we are executives. I don't think we are going to create any harm over there. The national coordinator for the National Democratic Party Disability Dex, instrumental in securing bail for the arrested individuals, urge patients from the ex toll workers. The NDC pledged to reinstate them if voted into power. We met the regional command and then the station officer. Uh, they are to take their statements and then after that uh, we'll give them a bail. All of them? Yes, all the 15 of them. Okay, How, what, what was the condition for the bail? Uh, the I think they want to give them a caution statement or something like that. Then uh, we will sign, we will counter sign for them. And then tomorrow we will bring five of them here uh, to continue with uh, uh, whatever uh, um, agreement the police is going to have with them. This bad economy we are in now, things like this will definitely happen. That is why we are calling on all Ghanaians to come and rally behind NDC, who is a friend to persons with disability and NDC is going to make it work for them again and the toll booth as soon as NDC comes to power we are going to re-establish it again and we are not going we are going to take not less than 60 percent of persons with disability to work at the toll booth it's a promise we are giving to them as the national coordinator for the disability that despite the arrests the former toll workers remain steadfast in their pursuit to have their concerns addressed